came here to be free. I came here to come back to nature. I've seen it on TV, read about it in magazines, but to actually see it firsthand will be quite an experience. Since I'm an avid photographer, I'm looking forward to getting those up-close shots that I know I will be able to get of the animals. The tortoises, the penguins, the different species of birds. I'm looking forward to that. We first got off the ponger and we saw five or six of them. We saw that was amazing enough. We stood there for five, ten minutes taking pictures. But we came around the corner here and then all of a sudden there's, I don't know how many here, hundreds within 10, 20 feet of us. You have to be very careful where you walk, but it was amazing. We didn't even see them blending into the rock. number of them just took our breath away. As I just came up across that little ridge there, I came across the uh, tiny, tiny little pup feeding off its mother. It looked pretty hungry too. But, uh, and the mother didn't care. The mother just kept rolling over and give that little pup easy access. And, you know, and then, but that was just something that you, you only really see on TV, National Geographic or Discovery Channel. I feel really privileged to be out here right now. Ventura is unique because our yachts carry 20 passengers and with 20 passengers we keep the group sizes small by having two naturalist guides on board. So when our passengers are on shore they're never in a group size larger than 10 people and that keeps it unique and exclusive. This is a bird that I have a lot of respect for. Uh, this is a bird that it's what we call opportunistic. In order to reproduce we'll make sure there's plenty of fish in the water a good condition, mm -hmm. uh, a nesting material to build eventually the nest with, yeah. and a partner to mate with. Mm -hmm. When all these conditions are on their side, then they will start to reproduce. If things are not doing well, they won't even look at each other. They won't even do anything. The food was fabulous. It was something different every day. Ate quite a bit, actually a little bit too much, but that's okay. Darwin finch is coming towards us now. That's a way to attract them by calling them. This is a part of the trail that we have to be very quiet. We have to start looking for the land you want us over here. This is our only chance. I came upon this, this, this land iguana and it was really amazing because I've never seen one up that close. And to see one in its own, you know, in its own wilderness, its own habitat, it was, uh, it was just truly beyond belief. He can approach, but if he sees that Manuel approaches, he will start shaking the head, I mean the head again. There he goes. 
it's a way to mark their territory. Yeah, the glass, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're, they look so prehistoric, and it's just so neat to see a creature like that in this century, really. You know, I mean, they're beautiful, and they're so golden, and it's just, it's incredible just to watch them. Remember, you're seeing one of the most amazing endemic reptiles today. There are definitely lovely moments like this to enjoy and relax. Now we have two different species of here. We have the great type of frigate birds and we have the magnificent. And, and both of them are found over here. Yeah. Um, mainly on this island, the gray type. See, it's a female who just flew by right now. So he's doing that's that That's right. Reason. So that's, he's trying to attract, like saying, honey, look at me, this is a pouch that you want. And we're seeing the second smallest penguins in the world, and they are, of, of course, the Galapagos penguins. And uh, this is one of the seabirds that will mate for life. The flamingos, the penguins, the American oyster catchers, the waved albatrosses will be birds that will mate for life. Those are blue for the movies. I just never had an experience that compared to what I encountered. I was swimming not only with dolphins, but sea lions also, and birds. I mean, it was just incredible. And, and the sea lions in particular I really loved because they would do like little dances around you and very inquisitive and come very, very close to you. So that was the thrill of my life for me. Ecoventura will understand there has to be a sustainable exploitation of natural resources. We're trying to make a difference in the islands. We're trying to preserve the islands for the future generations. We're trying to give something back to them.
We went to the Darwin Research Station today and we saw the tortoises and they were pretty incredible. I mean, they're, they're really a great animal. What was so unique about these that I had not 